okay so hello everyone i'm akash and in this video i'm going to show you how you can upload all your project files onto your aws server so without any further ado let's get started so here i have my uh, github account opened and i'm going to give the link for this in the description down below so i'm going to upload the files of uh, this project that i've uh, created so these are all the files so i'm going to just uh, download the zip for this so here i have the zip file okay so here is uh, that zip file so i'm going to extract it and okay so here is all the files uh, that i'm going to upload onto my server so now uh, for this uploading purpose you are going to need uh, one software uh, and the name for that is filezilla so let me search it filezilla so this is so this is uh, the software that you are going to have to download and the download link for this software also i'm going to give in the description so go ahead and uh, download it from there so uh, with this software we are going to connect to our instance and uh, the files for uh, that uh, server are going to be shown here and these are all the local files that i have right now on my system so what uh, is going to be done here is i'm going to uh, just drag all my files from here onto my server when i connect it so now uh, let's connect uh, to the server so to connect to our server uh, what we are going to do is we are going to uh, select here a new site and let's give this a name php site okay now uh, we have to select here sftp so sftp uh, is selected that is ssh file transfer protocol and here we have to uh, give the host name so the host name here is this one so this is our host name and then uh, in the port field you just keep it empty and here we are going to select the key file option and we are going to set the user as uh, ec2 dash user so this is the same user that we used in uh, putty in the last video so here we are going to browse our key file that we generated for putty okay so this is the key file and then just click on connect and click on ok and as you can see here all the processes and we have successfully connected here so you can see all the uh, files and directories of our uh, ec2 instance so these are all our server files and here we are going to navigate to where and then inside our www folder and inside that html folder so this is uh, the folder where we are going to copy all our files so i'm going to just uh, select all of these files and I'm going to drag and drop them and okay so as you can see here all these files are uh, failing so they are not uh, being copied so this is because there is uh, no permission uh, proper permission for uh, copying these files from uh, here from our local machine onto our server so what uh, we have to do is we have to again uh, login into our uh, server using this putty and then let's browse our file Okay, let's log in. So EC2 dash user. And now we are going to have to navigate to where then www 
and then so okay i have to write another slash here okay so here we have uh, the html folder so now we have to change the owner for this folder so if i do ls and then dash l so as you can see here uh, the user and the group for this html folder is both root and we have logged in uh, in this filezilla as uh, the ec2 user so what we have to do is we have to change uh, the owner for this so ch o w n you have to first write sudo then ch o w n then ec2 user and then html and now let's see okay so it is changed now let's try it again so now let's try just for the one file and as you can see here that that file is uh, successfully copied so now let's try for others also okay so as you can see here all files are getting copied successfully okay so we have copied all our files successfully so this is how you can copy all your files onto uh, the server and now let's navigate to our html folder okay so we have all our files okay so now let's open this in our browser so i have to copy this ip and okay so we have successfully opened our website here and this is uh, not yet connected to our database so now let's create the database for this and let's uh, connect this uh, website to that database so now uh, i have already a database uh, for this on my local machine so i'm going to uh, compare all the things there and create them accordingly so this is uh, the database so the name of uh, this database is mydb so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go in uh, php my admin and i haven't logged out so it automatically opened okay so this is the one and then you have to go into the database tab and here uh, let's give it the name mydb my db create and then uh, the table name is users so user s users and the field names uh, okay so these are the field names id then username then password email and to date okay so first off there is id i'm going to give the length as six then username vacare and let's give this hundred password vacare 255 email vacare 255 and i'm going to just uh, add another field and the last field is two underscore date so two and underscore date and let's go into the structure and here the type for this to date is date time so date time okay okay date time mm, okay perfect 
so this is uh, all that we have to set and yeah one more thing we have to uh, give this id a primary key and we have to automatically increment the value of this id as well so i'm just going to click on this uh, checkbox and this uh, is going to pop up so we have to just click on go and here as you can see it is set to primary key now and now let's save this okay so we have successfully created this and let's uh, browse so there is no data yet so now uh, still we don't have our uh, forms uh, working because we haven't yet set the credentials for uh, this database in our uh, db connect file so now what i'm going to do is so here is uh, the source folder in that folder i have this db connect uh, .php file so i'm going to just drag this file out and here is uh, that file so i'm going to edit it so here as you can see uh, instead of username we have to write admin because that is the user that we created for uh, our MySQL database and the password is 123456 and the database name is this as we just created okay so everything is perfectly fine so now I'm just going to drag and drop this file and I'm going to override it and it is done okay so now let's check so let's refresh this page and let's go into sign up and let's write akash abc at gmail.com one two three four five six and let's sign up okay we are redirected to this page that's good now let's log in and done we are in the dashboard page so we have successfully logged in and let's refresh this okay so as you can see here we have that uh, user created here so the data for that user is successfully stored so now let's log out and create one another user so i'm going to call it demo demo at gmail.com one two three four five six sign up then again demo and one two three four five six okay let's see okay so it is uh, successfully storing all the user data so our form is uh, working so the website we uploaded is working totally fine so if you don't want to upload uh, these uh, project files of mine uh, then you can upload your project files also and uh, in the way that I showed you can set up your database as well and connect it with your project so this is how uh, you can do all that so that's it for uh, this video and i guess this is uh, the end for this series and maybe i'll uh, upload some another uh, videos also related to aws uh, in the future so uh, stay tuned so do hit the like button if you like this video and uh, do hit the red subscribe button if you want to see more videos uh, in the future like these so that's it for this video and I will see you in the next one.